I, I'm gonna go on something real quick because we lost uh, certain footage that we'll mention later. Aaron, apologize, to Logan. Ah uh, yes, Logan. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, you remember me last year. <laughs> you remember Devlin too. Yeah. You probably don't remember him belching like a total ogre either. Or maybe you did. <laughs> you probably do. Probably did, knowing you know his reputation. Ship, anyways. Brother, I did not. I was last year. I was. I was still growing. Most <laughs> mo mostly my brain. I was young. I was immature, and I said some things that I shouldn't have said to you at all. I was unaware of the situation. Jake's uh, still making his stupid ass character. <laughs> Shut up. God. Yeah, and it, it looks Excuse like. Excuse me. I put a lot of love and care into my character. Like yeah, like my food. dad does with food. It takes two <laughs> hours to make a sandwich. I'm at Rumsey. I can make what he made in 30 minutes. Well, why didn't you? Well, because he was drunk. You knocked over bottles. I didn't do that. God, why are you you're kicking your addictions around, man? Anyway, uh, why does she look like someone from Charlie's Angels? Uh. I don't know. Uh, anyway, so I think that's her dress outfit when low, she goes low, to a professional low party. Logan, Logan. Uh, what I'm trying to say is I'm sorry for calling you names on the internet, and it will never happen again. Please stop hating me. There you go. Yeah. There you have it. All right. Next topic. Um. Devlin jerking off to his third grade yearbook. Devlin, what, what's with that? I don't know what you're fucking talking about. Yeah, you do. First off, I was in the third grade in Maryland, and... Why do I smell beef jerky, like... Me, probably! Just burping! <laughs> you're like, oh, oh, oh! <laughs> yeah, I'm glad this fan on and the windows are open. Yeah. Um... You can't see it, but they are. But, um... No, I don't know what you're talking about. Next question. Alright. Um... <laughs> moisturizer and soap dispensers. Now... I have this story where uh, I went to a preschool, right? right. And uh, I uh, basically went there, and uh, I would I would hide out in the bathroom, and I would go to kids, <coughs> and uh, I would be like, "Hey, did you know that that uh, humans actually have built-in soap dispensers?" God damn it! And then I convinced them to uh, basically be extract said soap. Uh, from thyself, and, uh, yeah. River was also there with me doing it. What? Yeah, River was there. He can, he can tell you the same thing. Okay, now she looks like Jeff Hardy. <laughs> that's, wait, what is that? Oh, no, that's her. I, I have a soap, oh, God. I have there a soap dispenser this? story. Black Veil wait, Brides? Uh, you have a soap dispenser? Wait, is it about, uh, is it about our empty soap dispenser in there? Well, again, that, or? first off, Jake, when he has guests over... I or, filled it, all right? Oh, I no, filled no, it no, yesterday. No, 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 I have, because I, I'm just very hygienic, and I like to take care of my body, but not my teeth for some reason. I always yeah, is that why you're belching every other second? Same. Um, but I Disgusting take care of my freak. body. I just always here and then forget to brush my teeth, but not... This this isn't about teeth. I always wash my hands. I got that in my mind when I was a little kid. They'll always wash your hands before every meal, after you're done with the bathroom, or anytime you touch something that has like contamination, like money, railings, or, or, dick. Any, or anything like Yeah. I go in there, just take a good piss, grab my fire hose, <laughs> just blast off into the toilet. And then shake it about, you know, get everything out of there. Just wave it all around like a flag. And then I'm like, alright, time to wash my hands. And this stupid asshole never filled his his soap. <laughs> and I Yeah, I, I think that's the first time it's been uh, filled in like two years. Yeah, and I would just pump it until I got soap. And also at our school... I'm sure you did, uh, I Mr. Heard, soap Dispenser. <laughs> and I, and I heard rumors about these guys that like peed in the soap dispensers in the freshman wing. Okay. Wouldn't be surprised. Oh, and uh, Rumsey has soap dispensers. I'm done. Devlin screwing his dead sister. What's with that? <laughs> <laughs> does, this, does this relate to the third grade yearbook at all? Uh, no, not at all. These are conjured stories that are lying and, and false, so you should shut up. Oh, I see. You hid the body. All right. I think there's evidence. All right. Being the last human on Earth, would that be a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> Shut up! Or like, I guess better a better thing to ask is what are the pros and cons? <laughs> I guess that Devlin can do that and get away with it. 
<laughs> Alright, let me take the top topic fucking Shrek over here. <laughs> Alright, if I was the last dude on Earth, I would hate I would hate it. Like, like what the hell do you do even? Like there's sharks. Nothing's gonna protect you from sharks. Sharks? What? what, what, are, what are, are they going to evolve into land sharks? What are you talking about? Okay. Have, you, have you not seen Sharknado? Oh my god! Kill yourself. Alright. Or, or, or tigers. I, I actually had an Omegle What's question gonna... that was similar to this on Spy Mode. Mm. Um, spy Mode's cool. It is. What would I do if I was the last person on Earth? Mm. Well, you gotta imagine... Am I, am I at the state where, where damn. am I at the state where everything is like built like it was the, is there a sign of civilization of modern time but I'm um, in this world by myself do you know that uh, show that just came out about like the last dude on earth but he's like slowly finding other people I know that there is a show on the Twilight Zone when a nuke went off and he was the last guy in the world and every building was fine but then okay. his glasses broke and he couldn't read books and uh, that's all he wanted all right well to answer your question uh, yes you you are the last person in like modern time but like the city's clearly like kind of like, destroyed in the streets and stuff like that well I could probably entertain myself by just robbing stores and Entertaining myself with video games by myself, but Wait, I, you gotta. How are you going to be entertained by robbing stores? You just go in, and then when the alarm goes off, you grab like a couple bucks from the cash register and run like. Hee -hee -hee. Uh, yeah, I would do that for a while, but you gotta imagine if no one's monitoring these like reactors, there's just gonna be nuclear winter forever. Then, I mean, how would I operate a factory? It just blows up and goes supernova, and then yeah, I. After like the first year, and everything just stops being made, you're like, yeah, all right, yeah. I, got, I got a plan for this. What I'm gonna do after is I'm gonna go to the Cheez It factory, right? I'm gonna get all the boxes of Cheez Its that I can find and take them all with me and go to the water factory, the bottled water factory, where I can live there forever. First off. What's gonna happen when the world turns to shit because no one's monitoring these factories that will explode if they're not monitored? Uh, they'll explode. Yeah, we'll be far away. Well, global there's, warming. There's reactors. <laughs> Actually, no, global warming would probably stop that. There's tons of reactors everywhere. They explode. Nuclear powder and winter is just gonna be all around the world. 9-11. Uh, yeah, there would be a lot of places that, that turn one. into, uh... Fucking better What's be. the place called? No. That one place in Russia? Um... Columbine? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Shut up. Damn it. <laughs> Alright, let me, let me switch up the question a bit. What if you were the last man on Earth? Ooh. As, if, as in, all women are still alive. I'd probably still turn gay. <laughs> well... I, I like that answer. You're like, I'm sick of women. I just want to suck some dick. I you know? would... I mean, I don't know. I mean, eventually they would attempt to repopulate. Like, let's bounce on his dick you know, and take his man juice and have children. When you think about it, because, like, people are reproducing all the time, right? Yeah. Like, they would probably, like, basically lock you away, like, and actually use you to, like, just re uh, reproduce and have more children since, like, the population count would severely go down if you're the last man on Earth. Would you think that they would do something like, certain people can't have sex with this man because you're, um... Yes. Because mm. you're, uh... Oh, what, but, what, like, if someone, like... Uh, it's not... I'm not trying to be mean. There's a, a word for this. Like, you're not worthy... Retard! No, you're not worthy to have sex with this man because we want a perfect world of perfect humans. Oh, you're talking about, like, eugenics. Yes. No, no, I... Well, all right... I don't think that they're going to use him to, like, make the perfect race. I think that they're going to use him as, I guess, like, a template. It, it'll kind of be like the whole concept of Adam and Eve, where it's like all the children are from these two people, but it's just all the children will now come from this one guy and whatever pregnant women there are left. Oh, well, okay. 